Hello, welcome back. In the last video, we give you an idea how to create load generator, and that is what uh, we have we have created. And let's see what are the issues with this simple load generator that we have created last time. So, if you look at the simple load generator, is nothing but just going to read some activities from some 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 configure configuration file and then get those things. It does not give you this kind of percentage distribution that we specify in our workload right so that means this load generator is too simple and it does not capture real world scenario and what happens that if say for the first time I go to a page and in that page is something like abc.com question mark slash product ID is equal to 5 so I need to parameterize this thing in all the time I'm not going to hit for the product ID equal to 5 essentially these are the issues with this load generator that we have created in our last video so the goal here is the goal of this video is let's extend that simple load generator let introduce some more components into the test tool so that we can do a workload kind of specification like this this tool like whatever you generate here is simple is, is very good if you just want to do a unit test or if you just want to test one page for the performance testing this simple load test is going to fail to capture a real world scenario and that is the that is our goal our goal is to simulate a real world uses pattern all right so now therefore let's think about extending this simple generator uh, so that our goal of simulating a real world uses uses pattern going to be satisfied all right so so that is the goal so to do that so basically let's say these are our load generators so let's say lg1 is is, is the load generator to log in let's say lg2 is another another load generator that is going to going to browse the course okay so these are basically different different stand alone load generators similarly we have lg3 and up to let's say lgn okay so let's put this thing in one diagram so these are called load generators so these are called load generators so what we can do we can create so what we can do we can create another program let's call that program as controller okay and this controller has the ability or this controller has a logic to do all those kinds of percentage mix that means 10 percentage of time this controller is going to run this LG1 2 percentage of the time is going to going to run this program called LG2 so essentially we separate the load generator and controller so that we can control this unit load generator tools in a proper way then what do you do whatever results the elapsed time that we are trying to keep track of let's put those things to a to a database and let's call that database as result store okay and that result store basically this this load generator can directly write to the result store or this load generator gives back the result to controller and the controller is going to write to the result store and also while all these things are running we can probably monitor the statistics of the server from the controller and write those things to the result store so all kind of results that we want to, to store can be written to the result store and the reason is that later on we will have another piece of program and that piece of programmer program is called analyzer and 
analyzer is going to read from the result store in, and, and analyze those results and give you and gives you different graphs or different data so that you can make sense out of the performance data that you have collected so essentially whatever I, I shown is a test tool architecture and this is what we what we did in the last slide that we are essentially we are we are looking to, to, to develop a tool like this right and and this is the test tool architecture so here's here's an option either you develop these tools yourself or you buy different tools that is available in the market and implement your your load generators okay so that is a strategic decision that you need to take 